The Alliance of Redouan Tagi, Daniel Kinahan, and Rafael Imperiale is a story of how three of the most dangerous and powerful criminals in Europe came together to expand their drug trafficking operations beyond their countries and territories. Their alliance was a business venture that allowed them to establish a vast web that spanned multiple continents. Their expertise include money laundering schemes, bribes to public officials, and violent intimidation tactics. So sit back and relax as we dive into the highlights of the complexity and the reach of organized crime and the challenges that the Dutch police force faced in combating it. Let's talk about their alliance. Ridwan Tagi and Daniel Kinahan it all started with a friendship. Ridwan, a notorious drug lord in the Netherlands, and Daniel, the son of a Dublin-based gangster, met in the early 2010s through their mutual interest in boxing. They hit it off and soon started doing business together, with Kinahan acting as a broker for Tagi's drug shipments to Ireland. Kinahan was already a major player in the Europe criminal underworld with connections to various gangs and drug cartels. He was involved in a wide range of criminal activities including drug trafficking, money laundering, and arms dealing. Like Tagi, he had a reputation for being ruthless and violent. The two men first met in 2013 at a boxing match in Dubai, where they reportedly hit it off and quickly became friends. Their friendship eventually developed into a business partnership with Kinahan, providing Tagi with access to his vast network of criminal contacts and drug trafficking routes. The alliance between Tagi and Kinahan was mutually beneficial. For Tagi, it allowed him to expand his operations and gain access to new drug trafficking routes, particularly those in Ireland and the UK. For Kinahan, it provided him with access to Tagi's extensive network of criminal contacts and drug suppliers in Europe and beyond. The alliance between the two men also had a significant impact on the European criminal underworld. Tagi and Kinahan's criminal networks were among the most powerful in Europe, and their alliance allowed them to exert even greater influence and control over the drug trade. However, the partnership between Tagi and Kinahan also drew the attention of law enforcement agencies across Europe. Both men were already high priority targets for law enforcement, and their alliance only made them even more dangerous. In 2017, Kinahan was named as the head of an international drug trafficking and money laundering syndicate by Spanish authorities who had been investigating him for activities for several years. The investigation also implicated several members of the Kinahan family, as well as associates of the Tagi's criminal network. The alliance between Tagi and Kinahan eventually came to an end in 2018, falling out between the two men. The exact nature of the falling out is unclear, but it's believed to have been related to the dispute over drug trafficking routes. Despite the end of their alliance, both Tagi and Kinahan remained major players in the European criminal underworld. Tagi continued to expand his operations, while Kinahan remained a key figure in the Irish criminal underworld. However, the alliance between the two men will always be remembered as one of the most significant partnerships in the history of European organized crime. Redouan Tagi and Rafael Imperiale In 2014, Redouan Tagi had set his sights on expanding his criminal empire beyond Europe. He wanted to tap into the lucrative South American drug market but he knew that it would be a risky and complicated venture. He needed someone who had the right connections and expertise to help him navigate the South American drug trade. That's when he came across Rafael Imperiale, an Italian mobster who was operating a cocaine trafficking network in South America. Imperiale was known for his ruthless tactics and his ability to forge strong connections with Colombian cartels. He was a major player in the global trade and he had resources and knowledge to help Tagi achieve his goals. Tagi saw Imperiale as a valuable ally and immediately reached out to him. They arranged a meeting in a neutral location, and Tagi was impressed with Imperiale's business acumen and his extensive network of contacts in the Colombian drug trade. After several meetings, Tagi and Imperiale struck a deal. Imperiale would supply Tagi with high-quality cocaine from South America, and Tagi would distribute it throughout Europe. The profits would be split between them, and they would work together to expand their operations and increase their influence in the global drug trade. The partnership between Tagi and Imperiale was a lucrative one, and they quickly became two of the most powerful and influential figures in the European drug trade. Tagi's organization gained access to a steady supply of high-quality cocaine, while Imperiale's network expanded into new territories in Europe. However, the alliance between Tagi and Imperiale was not without its challenges. Both men were known for their aggressive and ruthless tactics, and there were times where their interests conflicted. There were also power struggles within the alliance, as each man jockeyed for control and influence. Despite these challenges, the partnership between the two remained strong and they continued to work together for several years. Their alliance was further strengthened when they brought Daniel Kinahan, a powerful Irish drug lord, into the fold. Together, the three formed a formidable trio, with each man bringing his own unique strengths and resources to the table. They controlled a significant portion of the global drug trade and were feared and respected by their rivals. However, their alliance, their, their alliance eventually came under scrutiny from law enforcement agencies and they were targeted in a major crackdown on organized crime. Tagi was arrested in 2019 and is currently facing a trial for a range of crimes, including drug trafficking and murder. Imperiale was arrested in 2016 and is currently serving a 20-year prison sentence in Italy. 
Kinahan remains at large and it's believed to be living in Dubai. The alliance between Tagi Imperiale and Kinahan was a powerful one and an influential one, but it ultimately proved to be unsustainable. There are criminal activities caught up with them, and they were brought down by law enforcement agencies determined to put an end to their reign of terror. Ridwan Tagi's criminal network expanded even further when he formed an alliance with Daniel Kinahan, an Irish gangster and the son of Christy Kinahan, a notorious figure in Ireland's underworld. With Kinahan handling the logistics and Imperiale providing the drugs, Tagi's organization began to grow at an unprecedented rate. They were soon among the biggest players in the European drug trade, with a network that spanned the continent and beyond. But success brought its own set of problems. As the three men became more powerful, they became more visible to law enforcement. Tagi, in particular, was a wanted man in the Netherlands, where he'd been linked to multiple murders and other violent crimes. He went into hiding in Dubai, but his network continued to operate under the guidance of Kinahan and Imperiale. In 2017, however, the Dutch police made a breakthrough in their investigation. They arrested a number of Tagi's associates and discovered a wealth of information about his organization. They also uncovered evidence of Kinahan's involvement, including intercepted phone conversations and surveillance footage. With the heat on, Kinahan decided to move to Dubai to be closer to Tagi. The two men continued to work together, with Kinahan acting as a mediator between Tagi and his European contacts. Meanwhile, Imperiale remained in South America, overseeing the drug shipments that were still flowing into Europe. But their alliance was not without its challenges. Kinahan and Tagi had different styles and personalities, and there were reports of tensions between them. Then, in 2019, the Dutch police struck again. They arrested Tagi in Dubai and extradited him to the Netherlands, where he was put on trial for his role in a series of gangland murders. With their leader behind bars, the alliance between Kinahan, Imperiale, and Tagi began to unravel. Imperiale, in particular, was said to be furious with Tagi for getting caught and exposing their network to law enforcement. He reportedly cut ties with Kinahan and went into hiding in Dubai, fearing for his own safety. Kinahan, too, became increasingly isolated with many of his former associates distancing themselves from him. Today, these three men are in very different situations. Tagi is serving a life sentence in the Netherlands, while Imperiale remains a fugitive in Dubai. Kinahan, meanwhile, has reportedly retired from the criminal world and is said to be focusing on his family and his passion for boxing. The alliance between Tagi, Kinahan, and, its Im and Imperiale was one of the most powerful and dangerous in the history of organized crime, but in the end, it was undone by its own success and the attention it drew from law enforcement. The alliance of Tagi, Kinahan, and Imperiale was a powerful and deadly force that operated across multiple continents and controlled vast drug trafficking networks. Despite the best efforts of law enforcement agencies, it took years to bring down these criminal figures and dismantle their operations. The story serves as a reminder of the ongoing threat posed by organized crime and the need for continued vigilance and international cooperation to combat it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have a good day.